The first ever LCA chess tournament has just been completed. Many students were hoping to claim the title of LCA chess champion. For some, it was a dream, and only a dream. For others, like myself, it was only for the luck. Nevertheless, many challengers entered the tournament. Organized by Emily, the chess tournament was an exciting event. Nerve-wracking matches, thrilling upsets, and brilliant moves were witnessed by players and spectators. Of course, the final match between Ace and Jerry was especially interesting. Within the first minute of gameplay, Ace played an excellent opening that led to the capture of Jerry's queen. Jerry played from behind for the rest of the match. Although he made solid moves, Jerry was pinned down by Ace's advantage and forced into a loss by time. With that, Ace was named LCA Chess Champion. Congrats, Ace. Let's move on to some news from the senior high drama class. The teacher of this class is Mr. Kernelson, who also teaches music here at LCA. In drama, students learn many things, but recently they have been studying the main elements of drama, which includes plot, theme, character, music, and spectacle. Mr. Kernelson does a great job teaching his students all he knows about drama. Currently, they are doing a film analysis on the movie Serrano de Bergerac. This is one of two film studies they have conducted this entire year, and as you can see, they are enjoying this movie. You may be asking, what does an average day of drama look like? Well, I'm glad you asked. Each drama day begins in the auditorium at 8.50 a.m. Mr. Cornelson then asks them an icebreaker question like, what are you most excited for this summer? Once they do this, they engage in a special drama game called Whoosh. This game is similar to the game Zip Zap Zop. It challenges their quick thinking and prompt you skills. It also engages their voices and bodies through sound effects and actions. Clear. There are a variety of actions that allow the imaginary whoosh to pass between each person. Some call for acting like jumping over a bowling ball or forming a rainbow. Others call for a group action like popping up as a piece of bread from a toaster or acting like a horse volcano. Anyways, new actions are added each class, so everyone has to remember the lines, motions, or reactions associated with each action. All in all, this is an amusing warm-up game to start off each drama class. After whoosh, Mr. Cornelson might go into a drama lesson. They might practice for a play, or as we witnessed one day, they might go into another educational game. The second exciting game we saw was a pantomime game. This game allows students to understand and experience a pantomime. This style of acting requires exquisite acting because words or noises are not allowed to be used. Here's how the game works. First, one student is selected. This student is then given a scene to act out. Next, he or she takes on a solo performance. The rest of the class watches and tries to figure out what is being portrayed, whether it's digging a hole, cowering from lightning, milking cows, or ordering something from a restaurant. Once a student has realized what is being acted, he or she must take the stage and give a solo performance of their own. Finally, Mr. Cornelson will tell the class what was being acted out, and the cycle will repeat with the selection of another student to act. The senior high drama class loves playing these games. They are great for being both educational and fun at the same time. Once again, thank you, Mr. Cornelson, for teaching the senior high drama class. Everyone will be looking forward to the class's future performances. Shoes are in need of a new home among students. Greensport has donated many pairs of gently used shoes to our school. Ms. Hansen, who knows the owner personally, wants to help out students by giving away these shoes. Usually, Brainsport donates these shoes to people who are in poorer countries that have a passion for running. However, due to the pandemic, this is no longer possible. Instead, Ms. Hansen is able to donate them to people in our school for free. 
See Miss Hansen to get a pair of your own. Don't forget to dress up for the last month of Tuesday of the month of May. This month's spirit day for the Upstairs Learning Center is formal day. Come to school dressed up in your most formal wear. Like usual, remember to have fun and do your best to participate. So it will be a recording with the recent change in numbers, right? It's down to 30 again for church services. So it'll be online again. Thank you, I'm glad to hear that we enjoyed the, the Christmas concert. I think so. I think specifically with these things, a lot of what the band and choir have been doing has started since September, so they've had a, more time to work on a lot of the things. So I think they'll do a really good job with their, their upcoming work. We are hoping to have drama, yes. Junior drama will for sure do something again, and we're still looking at what specifically we want to do for the drama 20 class. But yes, we are hoping that all of our drama classes can do something for this great class. Thank you for your time. Student Council is hosting an art challenge. The theme is animals or nature. If you're thinking, hey, I can't draw, this is lame, do not worry. That's why it's called an art challenge, not a drawing challenge. You can draw, paint, do digital art, sculpt, color, and so on. Let your creative colors shine. Looking around your classroom, you may be thinking, there are so many more people who are better than me, there's no point in joining. Well, to make it fair, we divided the challenge into three categories, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. There will be one winner from each category. The winner from the beginners will get 100 lux, the winner of the intermediate will get 300 lux, and the winner of the advanced will get 500 lux, and a box of art supplies. But all participants get 20 lux just for trying. If you are leaning more toward the coloring option, we have printed out three coloring sheets for each category, which is on the screen right now. You will have one week to complete the challenge, and when you are finished, bring your pieces to your teachers. There will be three sign-up sheets for each category. Sign up for your desired category and get your art on. Once you have signed up for one category, you cannot change and you can only submit one piece of art, so take your time and have fun. For our next announcement, we would like to introduce a fun challenge. Neither skill nor experience will be necessary for this contest. Let me explain. This week, a candy count contest is making its way to the Upstairs Learning Centers. The rules are simple. Guess how many pieces of candy are in the jar. A large assortment of candy will be placed into a clear glass jar and it will be each student's goal to come as close as possible to the correct amount. The closest person will earn 200 lux for their house. Watch the bulletin board for more announcements and get ready to put your estimation skills to the test. This school year has turned out to be one unlike any other. We hope that students upstairs have been enjoying the challenges and tournaments the Student Council have come up with. However, the fourth quarter is upon us. The journey you've shared with the members of your house is coming to an end. Soon, one house will be declared winner and share a victory celebration. In light of this, we'll give you one final look at each house's locks. As you can see, the victory is anyone's guess. Keep in mind these numbers do not include the recent chess tournament in which Aqua earned the most locks. Not much time remains. The last stretch of this year long race is upon us. This year, the LCA Student Council has decided to organize a spring table tennis tournament, but this year is going to be uh, different from all the other table tennis tournaments. Students now have been asking for a doubles tournament for a long time, and now we thought this would be the perfect time to introduce a doubles tournament. Each team will play to 11 with a win by two more. Also, you will only be able to choose a doubles partner from within your house. This will also be a double elimination bracket, meaning if you lose once, you still have a chance to keep playing in the tournament. The tournament will most likely take place in the lounge, but this could change depending on the circumstances. There will be paddles in the lounge, but we encourage you to bring your own. The competition will start on Monday of week 5. The winners of this tournament will earn 2,000 lux from, for their house. From there, we'll move down the rankings to find a team from a different house. The house in second place will then earn 1,000 lux, 
And finally, the house in last place will earn 500 lakhs. In short, first, second, and third prizes will be determined by the house. That way, each house is guaranteed to at least earn a little lakhs. Plus, the participation prize of, of 20 lakhs will be given to every student who joins. Keep in mind that this tournament may be the final tournament of the year. Go for gold and take home 2,000 lakhs for your team. Bye! I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Are you planning on returning to China one day? Wait, never mind, these are Sam's questions. <laughs> um. And you also don't want me to I don't want you here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm sitting on the bench. Yeah, I, 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 I scored, I scored, I scored like two. He's dying. Look at this. Please come up and walk away. No, 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 no,